Man, it's cold in here, so I got my aunt's sweater on. Fuzzy. This is the third anniversary of Tuataria today, or Three Ataria, or Three Ataria. So right now in Tuataria, a bunch of people are in voice cooperatively solving crossword puzzles together. So much of the celebrations that I've had these past couple days have been awesome and just collaborative. I can't get shared walks out of my head. I thought I would share a handful of powerful moments for you from Tuataria because if we're celebrating this community and what we've done and what we've accomplished and what we've built. It's quite the metaphorical train adventure that I've been on. There's a lot of powerful, loud, cheese dual guy moments, and there's a lot of quiet, important, vulnerable moment. First off, putting usernames to voices in the Discord chat with the first time I've ever done that was really, really cool. That stuck with me as a pivotal moment. Like I try to pay attention more to those moments where you're beginning something before it can grow so large that you forget what happened. Another favorite moment of mine was last year when I actually read Pale Blue Dot by Carl Sagan in the voice chat with a bunch of people and everybody got at the end of the stream, I think, selected their favorite Vlogbrothers videos that we got to just watch together and talk about. There's multiple moments of reminiscing and community engagement in this sort of approach of discussing ideas and just having worthy conversation and, and fun banter on Instagram side jokes. It makes it feel really like sharing is the thing that makes something remarkable. Maybe it's also the creativity of it. Quoting of the term matting, when your mic sensitivity is off and you cut in and out of the voice chat, is something I established, but it is not something that I decided would be an inside joke. It's honestly a happenstance, proud mistake that I made. It's one I didn't choose to have fame or some sort of notoriety for making. My mind often goes a lot to the open mics and also the Esther Day celebration where I made the video where everybody that submitted a clip got to say I love you in their own native language which is just wow like that's such a unique opportunity of course I can't remember everything that happens in three years even as much as I can daily journal everything but the feeling is always the connecting thread for me that's made to Ataria feel like a home because of how I've cultivated and I've helped serve it among those solid core memories are countless celebratory inside jokes and songs and art and podcasts, put a bunch of people into a room and, and get them to empathize and talk with each other about ideas and you're gonna get stuff like that, inevitably, I feel like. We help one another when we need help. I didn't even mention getting John Green to dab or all of the Project for Awesome stuff that happened since that's a shared walk inside of the shared walk of the Project for Awesome, which I've done since 2013. To Atari still deeply matters to me even though I'm involved in it in different ways now. It evolves and it changes as I do and that's awesome. You think you can ever get off of a train of something that you enjoy? I don't know if I'll ever get off the Tuataria train or the FCCLA train or the Nerdfighteria train. The ways I serve the world may change, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to like take myself out of that thing because it's just a part of how I've been shaped. I mean, I'm in for the long haul with a lot of stuff, so I guess we'll just see. It's just about what kind of changes I want to make and what I want to commit to and serve. Thanks for showing me around some trains and outside. I should do like a walk and talk sometime. I'm Trigger Dave. I'll see you Thursday.